What is up folks and I welcome you to another episode of our Road to Rank 1 in the Underused Tier. This episode folks, we got a special treat. Had enough of losing on the low ladder. I've conjured up a hyper offense team that I've built myself on the fly. I've got no more Pokemon that are dead weight on the team. We are going to win and try our best to win all the games. I don't want the series to go on forever so we need to pick up the pace and I believe that this team that I built will give us the results we desire. Folks, if you have been enjoying the series so far, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you have not done so already. We are on our way to 500 subscribe. That's my end of the year goal. Also, if you want to make use of the team, PokerPix will be in the description down below. And playlists, if you missed any of the previous episodes, will be in the description. I think I mentioned that. As well as timestamps, if you want to hop around and play around and see Point in the bell you want to stop at. Timestamps in the description as well. Folks, let's get the show on the road. This type of offense. As always, we leave with the Excadrill. I always give my guys nickname. I don't know if I keep mentioning to the to the to, the, to you guys. But I always give my Pokemon nicknames just to show off how cultured I am. Let me get these stealth rocks up. As the machine is putting in some good work. Let me show you the perfect one discounter. counter. Bramble Ghost. Let's see if they don't click knock off. I'll do very well here. As the U-turn out. This is a good idea to do so. This defogger came in hot. It's fine. Let's go into the Manaphy, the Prince of the Seas. Teardrops kiss. And just take heart. Or they're gonna click Toxic. They could rack Toxics up multiple times if they so desire. But, um, I do believe that Manaphy is actually... A great Pokemon here because I just get to click a free energy ball and I kill them. Guarantee, right? Specs energy ball basically. Wow. Let's go into the, the possession. Bramble Gas. As they made a good play. Doubling to this monstrosity. We'll just sacrifice the machine right here as they do end up defogging. Now we're going to get the stealth rocks back up and they kill me. Sundus gets on you. Let's see what the Sundus can conjure up. They killed your dice with the stealth rocks so they can't really stay in and they get a special attack boost from the fiery darts. This Mandibuzz is in massive trouble. They actually have to run with the Mandibuzz. It's actually not funny. Alright, they didn't decide to run, but still, they're in big trouble. I'm going to fire dance up to victory. What you're gonna do once I acquire a special attacking boost? Salt Best Tornadoes would have been in mega trouble had I gotten the boost first try. Second time's a charm? Not really. Two fire dances down, two 50% chances, thrown down the toilet. What a waste, man. Sundus, can you please wake up and start boosting yourself, my friend? I know it's early morning this side, but come on. This is screaming terrestrialized, but I have no choice but to click fiery dance mess. This is a water grass. It's a dark grass. It's fine. All good and well for the time being. How much HP is it? Animus is kind of dead, actually. Is it in the chainsaw, man? Because nothing really switches into the first impressions. Nobody really switches into the first impressions. And they've decided burning terrestrialized on. Cross was the way to go. I don't know why. Chainsaw Man's the one that's gonna win it for me. I just have to weaken the tornadoes tremendously. As Mandibuzz decides to be sacrificed to the wayside. No problem. I think they might think I'm Choice Bandit or Silver Powder, but with no source dance, they don't expect that craziness on my. Alright, now, what do we do? Right into the possession, I suppose. I don't need it right that much anymore. As I'm going to just get rid of these rocks and wrap a spin. Away. Is it going to Hydrapple? Hydrapple is cool for a multitude of reasons, but I'm gonna go sack the Bombi. Break its lose its sashes, get the webs up, and see what we can go from what we can do from there. The Caldeo is actually quite a threat. All right, Rhyperia right, came in hot. I just moonblast this for the chip so that um, the other guy can win on the spot. I just moonblast this again for even more chip. I suppose the correct play would just be to get sticky webs. Sticky webs? Oh, I didn't get sticky webs. No problem. No problem at all. Do I stun spoil this so I'm faster than everybody with Chainsaw Man? Maybe I do, maybe I don't. I think I have to end up stun sporing. This is chip. Being faster than Caldeo, it, it has its niches and alright, good we landed. Maybe we get a full para as well. Oh we did, wow. Now we actually get a web up as well. That's excellent. I'm faster than Caldeo, so sucker punch is always an option on my guy. Hey guy, what's the guy's name again? The Chainsaw Man. That's right. It draples four times weak to bug, so 
betting it all on the low kicks. This opponent is very high in the top 500 of the UU tier, so maybe we can end up pulling a rabbit out of a hat and destroying the opponent. First impressions. What you gonna do about those? No, 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 no. Do they sacrifice this? Do they really sacrifice this though? I don't believe so. Tight, tight, tight. I could lose the whole game here if I sword zone, but I'm gonna do it. They don't expect sword zones. Who stays in and gives up the grass? You? The grass is so useful. We've got so many other useless guys there. Let's go with the other useless guys, my friend. Grapple. Right, PO. Oh, yes, this is what we desire to see. Leech life. That's it. I'm gonna I'm suck that life back. I knew it was gonna go for something like vacuum wave. This is, this is not anything new, so yeah. If they go to the grass, I can just sucker punch them infinitely. Because I'm not afraid of no close combat. There's this tinted lens chainsaw man, so there's no resist on the team. Sucker punch obviously is a Oh I can kill tornadoes as well with leech life. That helps me a lot too. I think I just brought on the spot with that sword stance. Excellent plays. Sucker punch this fool into oblivion. That's the I knew it. I, I'm glad I, I I did what I did. Terrestrialize and leech life this fool. Everything's coming into place. Look at the chainsaw man. Back at full HP, they have to forfeit. They had to forfeit, therefore. Look at us putting in some good world versus and a high rated opponent. Let's actually focus up and get another game going. Uh, was that the first game? Wow, that was very exciting. Very quick as well. That's what I like about hyper offensive teams. Everybody using Mandibuzz ZD Defog and Excadrill Counter. What do I do about that? I mean, the Sundisk is a very nice lead against the first four, in my opinion. No, I lie, the Sunders is actually a very terrible lead. I suppose it's with the with the B. Better B is the guy. Alright, now they level this. I knew I had to leave with the Sunders. I just knew it. But it is where it is. Just get the webs up. As he bullet punch me into oblivion. No problem. No problem at all. Teardrops kiss. What can you perform? What miracle could you perform if? Web is up, they bullet punch me. Let's take heart and see what's up. Can't believe that they desire to stay in knock me off. That's incredible. Insane, but incredible by you. It's good that I, I managed to chip Sozo down tremendously. Yeah, Sozo put in a ton of work versus me though. Revealing it's not banded, but I knew that from the start. I think and the Bouge came in. Right, here we go. This is the move that we make. Sundisk, weaken this thing and get a special attack boost. That's all I desire. That's 50%. It's quite a lot. This is a good moment. Another fiery dance and even Azumara will be put in a hole. They gave me the whole What's the guy's name? Mandibuzz. The whole Mandibuzz is down. Right, Deoxys speed. About to come in and probably psycho boost me into oblivion. And uh, to attempt, it's probably gonna attempt to psycho boost me into Alright, upon seeing something like that, what do I do? Focus Sash, Deoxys speed? I do not believe so. Look at the team. Azumarill, Guard Chomp, Mandibuzz? Just to remove the hazards that you lay with Focus Sash, Deoxys speed? It just might be though, and I might be completely misreading the team. If it comes in hot, and it is Focus Sash. Deoxys speed, what do I do? I think I still terrestrialize and kick it in the butt. I still have my, my webs up. But the potential to get webs up. Right, here's, here's the moment of truth. I terrestrialize, there's a Psycho Boost. Didn't kill, Life Orb. There's a Life Orb, and I killed it in return. That's what I wanted, I believe? Maybe not. I'm going to sacrifice the Meta B here for some odd reason. The upper jet being to oblivion. We're gonna go to the poltergeist. Land some poltergeists and go from there. I don't think they know that I am packing a cold bear berry. It's good news. Sezo's gonna die, Komo'o gonna die, Archomp. Not gonna die, but it's gonna take a large chunk. But just give me the Azumarill. Just give me the Azumarill. I still have my sash maintained. On the Excadrill. As Garchomp came in as discussed, it's not gonna die, but it's gonna take a large chunk. And it's Rocky Helm. Okay, hey, Rocky Helm, Garchomp. This is one we can pull to guys. If they desire to Earthquake me into the dust, that's fine too. As they get rocks up. I get rid of the Garchomp, which is good in my opinion. Oh, I didn't even get rid of it. That's that's even more excellent. Maybe if I do say so myself, folks. The Rapid Spin to take the opportunity to become faster than the Komo'o. Yes, I think I will. I got rid of the Garchomp too while, while I was at it. Okay. Now if I see the Komo'o come in, I can't really touch it. But anything besides Rapid Spin, if it does if it does end up going for Clangor Soul, Terrestrialize, normal. Which is something it could do. So I'm just gonna keep Rapid Spinning against the Komo'o. Just to get faster than it, if it decides to... If it desires to... 
Tiger Soul. Right, that's the plan. The opponent is thinking, as they should. Azumarill comes in, that's a poltergeist away from, not death, but chip, from chip. And then Lokix's first impressions can kill it. After the poltergeist, provided the poltergeist lands, that's another big if. You know how those 90% accurate moves can work in Pokemon. And me speaking it simply means that the chances are tremendously high. You know, if I had to bet a million bucks uh, on landing a poltergeist the, in a crucial game, I just might lose that million bucks, folks. Okay, they made a smart play going into this. They should terrestrialize this, as they didn't bother to terrestrialize this. I don't know what kind of uh, combo all this is, but I shall just simply dazzle them with gleam. I don't believe even the. I don't believe you love my friend. What kind of man? What kind of man are you playing? What kind of angle are you playing at, you my friend? Okay, I guess Excadrill Sash is gonna have to go. I don't believe that Aqua Jet kills me from the range of my. Okay, but after they bullet punch me for the second time, that will definitely. Me down in the ground. I promise you that. So I have not terrestrialized. I'm very surprised that Kamo didn't bother terrestrializing into a normal type. Or have I simply just missed it? They didn't terrestrialize yet, yet, right? Maybe Aqua Jetting is the plan, which is not quite a solid plan if I do say so. I might have just thrown the game by going to this. I'm not poltergeisting the, the Kamo. There might have been wins and ins and outs I could have used. We have to earthquake. There's the terrestrialized water. Yikes, my friend. We're in for a world of trouble here. First, we have to first impression, of course. And then, because it's stronger than every move I could. Jet, jet. Okay, 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 okay. Because. That's actually quite sad, man. I need to crit to kill this. 53 from that move. There's a 108 base power move, plus stab. Ah, oh, that's so, so terrible. Unbelievable, 5%. The rocks would have made a giant difference, man. I should have just got rocks up. Oh, I just had the game and I just threw it away. What an idiot I am. Don't play like that. Let me just make a quick, subtle change. And I'll be back. Right, the subtle change that I made is I, I changed the Teardrops Kiss into a Water type. <laughs> into a Steel type with Tail Glow. I don't want to get poisoned. But I made it a Steel type. I meta be. This web has to go a long way. The Rapid Spinners could be close to Sand Slash. A lot of the guys, actually. To be honest, but that's besides the point. I just can't believe I beat some top notch player and then this is the stuff that's gonna put me down. There's no such thing as choice scarf, man. I'm also with with uh with the moves I'm thinking of like rock blast, the icicle spears to the face. The mono ice team that the opponent is rocking. Very weak to um I can't believe it's an eject button. But they got attack, so they gotta switch out, and that's just free chip that I've taken versus this thing. Sea Titan. The Sea Titan learn Rapid Spin. I don't know if it learns Rapid Spin. Ice Shard. It learns Ice Shard. We just discovered that. I'm gonna save this Teardrops, the uh, Meta B, and go into the Drill Machine. Right, the Ice Shard me again. That's fine. I will simply get my Stealth Rocks up just to chip down everybody for 25% if none of them are packing the boots, which I can almost guarantee not many of them are. If Belly Drum was Sea Titan, I got Shadow Sneak. And they're slower than the, the bramble bush. Sadly, for them, so I can outspeed them and shadow sneak them and beat their eye shot to the punch. As the opponent is thinking madly, madly for a while now. Not sure why. Came okay, back in the sea titan decided that becoming a ground type was its dream, its favorite dream, of all time. Becoming a ground type that is that strong in my opinion. Let's just pick surfs up and see what's up. Kill the Sea Titan potential. There's no surf resist besides Frostmoth. Frostmoth is a first impression is a victim. I've seen one before. Right, finally, this opponent came back. They're thinking quite like 20 seconds in between. Oh, here we are. I told you what the answer. Well, this is not the answer that I'm going to right now. But they have to turn slide. And they can't gain all their HP in one move, one fell swoop. Oh, that's one thing I can tell. They might even be slow if they are modest Frost Moth. Are you modest? I don't believe Frost Moth is one of those that retained Roost. But I'm sure Shadow Sneak and this Impressions be enough to sweep. Oh wow! Terror Blast me for nothing. For nothing. Let's get another boost going. Second boost. Now the Moth is cooking. Sun Disk is heating up. I like that. They have not burnt. They burnt the rest last. This is game over. I'm gonna get another game going. I can't. I can't be asked to afford to waste my time, especially after I lost that 
game so pathetically. We got a decent looking opponent here. Obviously, we're, oh, quite high rated if I do say so myself. Upan Bound seems to be coming back into the meta for some reason. Hurry dance up next. No third boost? That's no problem. We don't need a third boost. We resist ice, so. How many ice shards are you locking in there, my friend? Too little. Too late. This is slower. It's definitely slower. Let's keep focusing the first game. Don't count your chickens before they hatch. They keep telling me, but the chickens have already hatched. I can guarantee that to you. I'm gonna finish this game off with a terror blast to the face. That's like that's that's the way we end the game off. A nice little terror blast to the face. Did you enjoy that? Did you enjoy that to the face? I wonder. I think I know this team is banded, sash, a lot of craziness. This is a very good start to the game. Somebody going to click. Earthquake. I know they would stay in. I knew they would stay in. Rain punching me, eh? Box going up. I know Zapdos is about to come in now. So predictable these people are. There's Rock Tomb the Zapdos. As they're going to kill me with he They didn't even bother to kill me. As they went Hurricane. I got an answer. I told you that this encounters Zapdos harder than it counters Tornadus. So, all the guys for some chip. Quite a lot of chip if I do say. Okay, Thunder Wave time. How many roosts do you have? Six. You want to use all of them, my friend? Feel free. Feel free to use all of them. Next. Who's going to take this to the face? Who? I ask you. There's nobody that can eat this. Come on. Show me. Boo Rat. The Boo Rat. What a nice nickname. Um, uh, nice alias. Nice. Oh, no. No, no. Not like this. All the guys stuff. I think this is rocks and hazards and stuff and Rocky Helmet. Although I do have a... a is the rocks. No, two free turns. I don't. I don't like that. I don't. I don't like this at all. How many are you gonna give away? How many free turns are we just gonna give away? Each life, the HP. I'm pretty much in the same lower HP range than I ever was. But come on, man, idiot, man. I speak. Go to fun bounce. Gonna take rocks. Gonna take a lot of things. I can rock dust, can take rocks, break the sash. Teardrop's Kiss is an amazing Pokemon, you know. Turn into a Steel type with Garchomp if you desire. It, it, I can't believe it's so strong, man. At least it's dead. Not gonna be Dragon Tail around for free. Three paralysis in a row. You see, folks, these are the top guys in the UU tier do it. Three turns of paralysis. Or was it two or three? It doesn't matter how many it was. It was three turns. A lot of them. More than one. If you give more than one free turn to a top opponent. Done. You're done. One of the reasons why top opponents don't really tend to wish for paralysis and wish for burns. Although that's something that they do end up doing in duo die moments. How tanky is Zapdos? Did, did you know people that Zapdos is such a tanky Pokemon? I certainly did not. I'm going into Excadrill hard. You wanna hurricane me? You wanna Volt Switch? Be my guest. Right. Now I'm going to simply get rid of these stupid rocks, man. We're gonna get paralyzed here? I didn't get fully paralyzed. It's incredible. Can we please go into the Wind Rider and finally get something going. Hit him with the hard poltergeist. This is a hard hitting poltergeist. Come on. Super Unbound is gonna die. I don't know if they know this. Oh my gosh. Three. Counted. Counted. Third free turn. I said it once. I said it again. Hoopa Bound's gonna die. It died. It's gone. It didn't go the way I wanted it, but it died. The important part. Of course, of course. I think it's choice banded like I keep mentioning. You're gonna shadow sneak the chip as they do. Okay, you wanna do you wanna play like this? See you. See you. I can go into the sun disc, can't I? And fiery dance. I mean, I can rock's gonna take too much. Zapdos is gonna take way too much. Can I please kill the Zapdos now? Thank you. And can I get no boost? You would use all your boost in the last game, Sundus? Is this what, what language you speak before me? You're crazy, Sundus. That's all I can say. You're crazy. Let's sacrifice the machine and just first impression is this little thing into the dust. It's game over. I've got way too many sacrifices and fast Pokemon and Pokemon that beat Ogapon and Scizor. So it's over. Is there a Celerock with a life orb? Cool. Uh, we have to earthquake. It's done. Chainsaw Man, First Impression, there's no Protect like a Rock with Life Orb, there's no such set, there's no such set, I've never seen that in my life, and I never intend to see it in my life, ever. 
hey, I'm crazy enough that I would run that, you know? Protection on like Lycanroc. You're wasting coverage slots if you're using protection on Lycanroc. So, I think we can call this clock in the next win against another top rated opponent in the UU tier. I don't know any of these guys that I beat, but they're apparently top class opponents. Uh, nobody knows me, so it's all it's all give and take, you know, at the end of the day. I'm gonna sacrifice the teardrops kiss because he's the only guy that doesn't really do much or doesn't really offer any chance of victory. It's two bullet punches away from defeat, I believe. Wow, teardrops kiss is actually quite tanky as a Pokemon. We have to surf just the chip. That's oh. and did somebody say a low kicks win? Did somebody say a low kicks wins? First impression, Chainsaw Man on the Hyper Offense, looking brilliant. Alright, you can forfeit my friend, why are you still playing Pokemon with me? I'm gonna go into Meta B and just Moonblast you into Oblivion my friend. Protect Ogre Party is something I have seen before. Let's not be hasty and claiming the game is over one, it's not. That being said, we're going to simply Moonblast this opponent into Oblivion. Oh, I gave him a boost. And they didn't even kill me. Probombi was the one to win the game. Let's try and get to 40 down. That's going to be a lot of games to play, but maybe Hyper Offense, the movie, we can call this one. You know, 40 minutes of non stop grueling action. Give it a pause while I wait for the next one. Alright, then the opponent's got another dangerous looking team. The Arcanine looked dangerous. Sandy Shocks looks like a deadly threat. As always, Mandibuzz is probably their default of choice. So, I, I look at the Manaphy, and I don't see an answer to the Manaphy. If I see Tinkerton lead. As I see an Arcanine lead, that's a leader I don't mind facing. This is a simple surf into Oblivion. Tinkerton comes in, I'm going to Tail Glow. If they do end up Encoring me into Tail Glow, that's fine. I'm not afraid of no Encoring into Tail Glow. But a surf's up is in order. There might be Sash Arcanine, that is something that I, I honestly didn't think about, but alas, I don't see a Sash Arcanine. Ice Beam, I need this thing down. That's all I, I have to say. I need this thing down. Because they roost. No, 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 my friend. Oh, I surf. They have to switch. They seriously have to switch. We're gonna go into Tinkerton, maybe. All right. Guess not. Ice beam this time. Kill it. That's gone. What has just been put in front of me is gone. Oh, so, Sandy Shocks can come in. It might not even kill, eh? Sandy Shocks is strong. Pokemon Cornerstone definitely will kill me. That's a one. Oh. How do I defeat Aku Aku? Oh, they copied some of my nicknames. I'm so greedy, I'm so greedy, I'm so greedy. I'm so going with the possession. Keep this guy alive just in case. Abikaja will Okay, Abikaja will kill me. That is interesting. I didn't know that was a possibility. But now I do. Fine. We see. Can I tell you guys another Pokemon that's gonna win the game on the spot? Simply Excadrill. I don't see why Excadrill can't win the game on the spot. I kill Uka Uka. Aku Aku, I kill Aku Aku. They're gonna go to Aku 9. I'm gonna sacrifice Teardrops Kiss. They're gonna roll them, wash. Why? Don't tell me you plan on wisping me. That was pretty obvious. That's my bad. For clicking what I just clicked. Fox. You end up earth powering me. Dust. It's expected. Well, the shocks is about to die, unless they burn to rastalize, which is. Much an acceptable play right now. I have the feeling I should get Roxa, but I didn't, alas. I got rid of the Sandy Shocks, which I thought was an annoying Pokemon to deal with, so I'm glad I did. Arcanine might come in now, as it did. Did I burn Terrestrialize? I have. I've wasted Terrestrialize. I didn't just burn it, I've wasted Terrestrialize. Alright, what now? What do we do now? As long as this Arcanine is alive, my Dazzling Gleam guy can't even beat anybody. But I don't have much of a choice really, but do this. Go to this guy. I guess click stunts ball. If they're going to row them, then cool, we went in the row them. I need to just paralyze this thing and make sure it's slower than Chainsaw Man. I just gotten rocks up. Okay, we they not boots, they're not um for choice band. Moonblast is full. Oh yes, Chip is good. Chip is good. You know what? I, you want know how good Chip is? Chip is so good because first impressions is very strong, but not that strong. Not that strong. Right. Bet it all on. What's the guy's name? Meta B. 
Ah, oh, Iron Moth. That's the guy's name, Iron Moth. I know this won't kill, but alas, paralyze yourself. Life's dangerous, eh? Living life on the edge. Paralyze yourself again. I'd love. It's so sad that the Inkatan just lives. And not even just lives. It it's a four times resist. That's a sad. That being said, I will sword dance upon seeing the Tinker Tan Dodo Wash came in hot. I didn't expect that to be the case. I will simply sword dance upon seeing a Willowwood so I can maintain my uh, power. My, my power. And Rotom going. Oh no! Fine, 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 fine. I need you to paralyze yourself, my friend. Okay, you didn't. That is cool. That's not the way we wanted it to go, but that is, that is what it is. I need a sludge wave you for no type of chip. Ah, oh, that's so disgusting. I feel so sick in my, my stomach. Although I do have the boost. Can you kill the Rotom from this HP range? I don't know. Especially if the Rotom desires to terrestrialize. Then we definitely. If it's like steel terrestrialize. It's not steel terrestrialize. I'm still alive. That is incredible. Tinker Tan's about to come in hot. I'm going to go for the depth. For the fiery darts. Hopefully I procure a boost. And we can bonk this guy. And it became a water type. That's bad for me. But I know why it's bad for me. Because it got to encore me into this. But I got a boost. Which is something. Maybe I can acquire a second one and do a, a mega amount of damage. Second boost. No second boost. Oh, we tried. And it failed. Ugh. I'm just crushing high rated opponents and losing to losers. That's all that's happening here. Crushing high rated ladder opponents and losing to losers. What the hell? Second boost would have gone a long way, my friend. <sighs> What's done is done. What's done is done, folks. Not much that can be done after this. After this. all of this effort. I don't know what to say. Do I have to play 10 games off camera to win, the, to win it all? I don't know. I've played some games off camera, I'll be honest with you, but I need to play a million of those before it, it clicks in my system. Anyways, rocks going up. The rock tomb going up, that's for certain. Because they probably get up a sticky web. They made a bad choice by leaving with Robombi. It was absolutely no choice. They get pretty much a free turn. This opponent is actually quite pathetic. I don't know why they lost the opponent had some um, ideas in the way they played. So they just gave me Robombi for free. It's a free Robombi. I got a speed boost on the F control as well. Got a Garchomp from this position, which I don't think they. But that doesn't sound too bad for them. Uh, upon seeing the Garchomp from this position, what do I do? I'll simply just Rock Tomb it. No, I'll simply just Earthquake it for the chip so their first impressions can massacre it. And then, Telgo Manaphy is almost at the winning path. We just have to get rid of. We have to just get chip on the Volcanion and get the webs up, and then we're good to go. Pokemon Cornerstone came in hot. There's an earthquake into a stealth rock. This is one of the chips that I said I needed. Oh no. Look at this. The last opponent that I played was this kind of quality. I'm gonna get another game going. I can't I can't let you guys see that. I can't let you guys see that kind of So what's dancing in front of a faster X control? Are you crazy in your head? Earthquake this thing to Oh, oh, you got some tricks up your sleeve. Okay. Well, I don't feel like dealing with this scissor with agility. Oh, I reject this. Agility scissor. Is your plan to become some acrobatics or dual wing beat clicker? I don't know. They want to become dual wing beat clicking. Lucky they have a Toxapex in the second game. Talk to him for chip. For the good chip. Oh, dual wing beat as I discussed. Let's get these rocks up. Because they end up doing me into the dust. Oh, that is cool. Plus one Scizor is so slow. Uh, and so weak. Let's kill him with the fiery darts from the sun disk. You better pray I don't get a boost so that your Volcanion can do some type of damage. Oh, and I got uh, the boost. I'm so good to get the boost, aren't I? I didn't. You're lucky my Volcanion didn't even bother to get the boost. Why are you going to put down? This fiery dance is full for a 2 kill. No boost? No boost! Oh my, and they bulk up with all three. Finally got the boost of the three dances, but what does that mean? That's all for this, done and dusted. Next game. Don't waste my time on that. I'm this position to be in, but I'll just break the balloon. Just because I feel I need to. I don't need this guy to win much. And they also add the idea to wrap his pin. Oh, I know they're going to sacrifice. 
and they they risked it for some for no reason at all not for some reason for no reason at all that they choose to do that now surf's up what you're gonna do i can't believe there's a well let a bone be just moon blasting into the oblivion come on man toxic pick i become a steel type i don't win really in fact i don't win at all we're going to maybe get the web up why do i go into meta b to get the web up i get the web up the web up so that i can beat the x control eventually let's stun spoil this and just in case i can get some time to a lot of time some lucky chances to end up um hell glowing and crushing this thing with paralysis and all that all right folks how many dances do i have to perform before i get a boost let's play this little game you can kill the toxic right here right now with another move i'm not going to click another move because i want to see how many times i have to click the move before i get a boost three four four chances not a single boost what does that mean folks they'll blow up just go into toxapex weakened as it is as it came in hot yep 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 i'm gonna have to terrestrialize to a steel type here and tail what's this move called energy ball two kill Oh, you've ruined the game. You've, you've dirt surf, surf, surf. Must surf. You must surf. Stab move and it hits Moltres. Actually, I don't have to surf at all. Just can just clear it. Don't be stupid about this. Right? On the second game. I'm gonna make this one the last one because this guy that's clowning around is actually clowning around. Ice Beam. I'm gonna become a Steel type. Be my guest. Don't die to Earth Power. I can promise you I won't die to Earth Power. And the only priority that the Deoxys speed could have is extreme speed, which I resist at this moment. I don't know if you've noticed. X control. No, 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 no. There's no X control that's gonna do magic here. It's gone. X control's down. Garchomp's in. I'm gonna surf this Garchomp. If it lives, then I'm, I'm very surprised. I know this is Manaf. I know Manaf looks so small and innocent, but he's not so weak. The Prince of the Sea is no pushover. You're not gonna kill me with Earth Power. No ways. Watch this energy ball. Watch this energy ball with it. Assault Vest? No, I don't believe you. It is Assault Vest. That's incredible. I lost the game. I think I just lost the game. That is an insane turn of events. Actually, quite insane turn of events, isn't it? Alright then. Overberry. I need you, my friend. Perform some. I can rapid spin kill him. That is incredible. I need the speed. I need the speed very badly. Let's see if the possession can actually possess a win for us here. Toxapex came in with the Rocky Helmet. Poltergeist. Please do some damage with Poltergeist. Oh, uh, we didn't do much. We didn't do much at all and we just freaking lost. But I need even more speed so I can beat the... No, I should just Poltergeist because... Yes, yes, yes. Come on. Oh, no! No, no, no! I killed it. I could have won worth... Could have won with Chainsaw Man, Man, stupid Pokemon. All right, this is a good turn of events. I get mega damage on the Toxapex. All right, I get mega damage on the Toxapex and mega damage on this too. How strong is this thing? It's quite strong. Who can I go into that's not so strong? Ay yeah 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 yeah. First impressions. Yes yes yes. Okay, there's the speed. The Oxus Speed Demon is down. Oxapex comes in hard. Close dance. Because, oh, yes, yes, yes. You thought you were going to dance between me. Back and forth, back and forth. I still might lose, eh? Oh, I, I killed it. No pushover. Chainsaw Man. Come on, we can beat this Toxapex. Haze? Haze Pex? I don't believe you. With Sludge Bomb and Toxic and Chilling Waters? I don't believe you. 1371. I'm going again, my friend. I'm going again. It's, it's just... Unbelievable that we're struggling so much. The climb is so slow and weak. No, I reject that notion. Look at this hyper offense. Language has been spoken here. Okay. Rocks go a long way. Uh, webs go a very long way too. So let's rapid spin. Oh my goodness. How can you play so pathetically? And I've lost two opponents lower than this. How can you play like that? How can you play Pokemon like that? It's just insane what I'm seeing. I'm going for the chip. Liquidate me if you desire. 
things to solve this, by the way. I think it's to solve this so much so that I'm going to the Bramble Goss to maintain my sash and Poltergeist to sing into oblivion. That's the stuff. I knew it was to solve this. I've been seeing a lot of assault as Azumaru. Okay. Time to shadow sneak this guy. Into the dust? Not really into the dust, but he's been shadow snuck. I did no type of damage, if I do say so. What do I do about this This position? It's very delicate. Very, very delicate. There's two things I can do. Option number one. Before I say option number one, the folks, you saw how the game started. They gave me a free, a free excursion on their part. Now I've killed the Azumar. I'm in a good position. Here's the options. Option number one. Go into Teardrop's Kiss and Surf for the kill. Hoping they're not energy ball. That's option number one. Option number two is going to Meta B, Stun Spore, then get webs up and then play the game from there. That's option number two. Option number three is, go, is what I'm going to choose. Go to the Sun Disk, Thrash Lies and click Terra Blast and be done with it all. I'm going to rush the game up right here, right now. That's option number three. And I regret everything because they have got a Greninja. Got a low kicks. I forgot who I am. You got a Greninja. I'm, I've got a low kicks. I forgot. I'm a legend. So I got a low kick. Let's dazzle them with Gleam as they obviously kill me with something. Life of Greninja? Most probably. Most probably. Wouldn't be surprised if it's Life of Greninja. Alright, there's Life. Protean. Protean. Okay. I'm quite eligible. I mean, there's nothing you could click that could possibly kill me. Two would kill me at, at any rate. I was mistaken. I was so mistaken. I apologize for being wrong. Because Dark Boss is the move you could kick to kill them in one hit or however many hits you desire to kill the chainsaw machine and or yeah the machine he can go like you're boosting yourself into the dust oh first impressions on a yes 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 wait i've got red carded out that's fine it's fine moon blast will do it moon blast will do it. we have enough sacrifice in the back this game was way too close for comfort nah I was never the player source though. I was never, and it didn't even bring me down to my sash. Sad to be you sometimes, eh? Orphaning up, eh? One more game. Maybe one more will take us to where we desire. If we win that game. If we don't, I have to call it a quit. Because, for the day at least, not for the, for the series. Because, it's taking way too long. I can't upload a, a thousand hour video and then people only watch the first minute. And then it's done. What a waste of my life. I'm not gonna waste my life like that. Folks, if you did make it to this point, let me know if you're here in the comments down below. Let me know you're here in the comments down below. I'd really love to know. All right. Look at the opponent's team. They are. This is another top class opponent. You know that. That's our bread and butter. This is our victims. Our victims have defog probably on the sizzle. On the sizzle. Because if. Yeah, so that means we can leave with this. All right, yes, sizzle as discussed. So we stick your web up and we'll go from there. Web up. We'll go from there. I, just, I said stick weapon and go from there, and this is what I meant. I knew it. Okay, now that we've known it, let's just surf the chip. That's good chip. And the U turn out. Fine. I don't think they have anything that can kill me in one hit. So we can be happy about that. Maybe Caldeo can do it if it's choice specs. Caldeo. I believe it could. Zapdos could come in hot. But that's just an ice beam away from defeat. And I will Ice Beam. Just for the chip. Just for the chip. Bolt Switch came in hot. That's fine. The chip to Zapdos, chip to Sizzle, Earthquaking and Rock Tombing. Don't seem like too bad of an idea. Traded my Zapdos HP and my Meta B HP for Zapdos and Sizzle HP. Is it worth a trade? Not yet. But the results might become apparent once the web remains up on the floor. When the web comes back up, the web can come back up with Garchomp. Latios, Kel, no, just Garchomp, Latios, and Zapdos. That's it. This is one of the victims the web can come back up against. Ice Beam them as a Thunderbolt me. That's fine. We'll go into Meta B. Lay down this web. They should go hard the Sizzle as they did. Now I go into the Sun Disk as a Defog and I claim a kill. Claim a kill because, why well, I just say at least get Mega Chip on something. As they decided to do that. They just did what they did. They did that. Cool. 
It's a fire dance. There's no other move to click. Fire dance is the answer. They go to Garchomp. They drop the speed. Fire dance, give me the boost. Give me the boost. Do you want to terrestrialize the Garchomp? You may. You so may. But the Garchomp is down. That's good. Okay. Who's going to come in and answer me now? Choice Scarf Latios? I don't believe you. You're not Choice Scarf. You ain't no Choice Scarf Latios. I knew you were not. I knew. Okay. I didn't know you were not. Oh! Yo, yo, that could have just cost you the whole game. It did. And we reached the 1400s as I discussed, folks. I told you, this hyper offense team was very stressful, I must admit. A lot of mistakes and gaps in the team. Uh, I'll be the first to notice, but it's the one that gave me the biggest results versus three top class opponents. Three top class opponents. If they landed that Draco Meteor, let me tell you what I was about to do. I was about to go into my Excadrill. Rapid spin up, uh, probably against the Zapdos. Hopefully not get paralyzed, and then I was going to Rock Tomb them. And I think I could have won the game from there because I was going to terrestrialize Ghost with X. I think Sozo had enough chip down. The Ox is not going to really take it much, and we would have gone from there. I think we could have won the game nonetheless if I played properly. However, folks, if you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. If you have not done done so already, we will be doing a lot more of these in the future. If you did make it to this point, I thank you for watching. Until next time, nonetheless, we be you setting out.